Sometimes when you're working in Fusion, you need to be able to find the arc length. And when I place a dimension, the only thing that Fusion can do natively with dimensions is to place this radius or show this as a diameter or, you know, effectively do the distance between the points. You can do the angle, but it's still not the arc length. The measure will give you the value. So if you select it, it will give you the length or arc length. Now I'm working on a video for tomorrow that's creating an intelligent belt. So the teeth are going to solve automatically and be evenly spaced no matter what changes we make to the belt. So that's coming tomorrow. But for now, we need to talk about one thing, which is how do we find that arc length as a dimension so that we can put it in our parameters list and see it whenever we want. So what we do is you can place the radius value. You can name a parameter right in the dimension dialog. So I could set that this is the radius. We'll just keep it really simple. The next thing I'm gonna do is create an angle. So I'm gonna go from the end point of the arc to its center and then to the other end point of the arc. I'm gonna select the line and hit X on the keyboard so that it becomes construction so it's not being used when I try to extrude anything but what I want to do now is do a dimension from this angle from this line to this line and it's going to give me an angle I'll place the angle this is saying that it's an extra dimension or where this dimension of the angle is going to drive something that the radius drives so we'll hit create driven and now it's just a reference value if I change this, you'll notice that the reference, if we go to 31, the reference dimension does update. So it's just the only difference is I can't double click and change it. And of course, if you were to get rid of this one, we could make this the driving dimension. Next, we're going to come up to change parameters. And now what we can find is there's the radius and I forgot to change the name of the angle. I don't have to do this. I could just call it D9, that's fine. If it's helpful, name it and something easy for you to understand. And now what we're gonna do is create this new equation. The arc length is equal to the radius times the, the angle as long as it's in radians. And there's a, a way that we can calculate this with radians or just automatically do it with parameters. Now let's create a brand new equation. We're going to go to call this the arc length. We can leave it in millimeters and we're going to do the angle, which is this value. And I can simply type in angle. We'll put it in parentheses. We're going to multiply it or actually we'll divide it by the radians. And then we're going to multiply it times the radius value. So I'll type in radius. When it goes black, that's a good sign. When it's red, it's not able to solve. So this is giving us the arc length. We'll click OK. And now we have this arc length value. Now if we want to just confirm that that's correct, we'll come over and inspect. We'll click this arc length, 75.8. Awesome. So that lines up. And now we can use that parameter anytime we need. And it's going to be dynamic. Make this 29. Now if we check our parameters, we can see that arc value is now 67.6. Cool. Hey, I hope that helps. I'll see you guys in the next video.